I've always embraced technology, but I'm a guitar player and, and my core and my being, my very being. And guitar players are in a, a little bit of fear of, of disruption, you know, and, and antiquation. You've got all this big bulky analog stuff and then you got guys who are carrying around a keyboard in their backpack with a laptop and making incredible music right now. I feel like I'm right in the middle there. With the Axe Effects, I never forced it. It was never contrived. I never said this has to work for me. It's it's happened. I mean, I don't think I have a wizard's ear, but I'm a pretty discerning motherfucker, and I can't f tell the difference anymore. I just can't tell the difference. But that's not what matters. Being able to shape any sort of sound that you want, manipulate any sort of sound, create any tonal expression that you so desire, that's, that's the main thing. Painting whatever you want on your proverbial canvas. Like I couldn't do that with my amp. There were parameters you have to work within. And so what limits you? Does this tool limit you? Does this tool limit you? Everything might limit you in, in different ways with the fractal. You can just, you know, carve out and create these insane, insane sounds. I really didn't have to spend that much time with it, and I'm by no means a tech guy at all. It's only the ceiling of your imagination that prohibits you from creating Touring the Axe Effects, it's a godsend. I mean, if you've toured or you've gigged at all, you know the extreme importance of durability because it's completely Murphy's Law out there. What can go wrong will go wrong. I've had zero issues since I switched over to Fractal to have that inspiration along with the durability, that road warrior capability that so many things lack out there. I've just, I've never had a, had a problem with it. You know, we're so lucky to be headlining in front of, you know, 50 to 100,000 people on any given night. The sound I'm coming into your in-ears, which is usually super stale, making it a nightmare for people to play on stage. It's like, well, this doesn't sound like when I'm, you know, five feet away from my amp. Well, to have a nicely shaped, polished, comfortable tone on stage. You just go on stage and you play. The Axe FX is, is seamless. I mean, the transitions are absolutely beautiful. So your solo tone with delays and certain little, little touches of modulation or back to a clean or back to this can all be automated, like on a dime. And you don't need to have a bunch of money to do that, you know? Let's say you're doing a gig at some restaurant or whatever, but you're pay playing to some backing tracks and you have that laptop computer there anyway, you can put in these changes so I don't have to do any tap dancing on stage, which is absolutely brilliant. So in a live setting, it takes the thinking out of it, it takes the manual intensive labor out of it. <laughs> It allows you to just focus on kicking ass in front of your audience. The future is very, very bright right now with the fractal in our clutches. This gives a modern tool. I mean, tool is such a small word for what the, the Axe Effects is to me, but gives you this tool, this entity, this huge piece of power to create with, to continue the legacy of guitar with, and bring that into the, the new horizon and the new frontier. I'm a bit of an old school kind of guy as well, and you want amps to, you want things to be here forever and ever and ever, but I promise you, if you take a, just a few days, get to know the Axe Effects, you can create whatever the f 
heck you want. And it's all about being yourself, expressing one's creativity and one, one's unique identity. I want to create from thin air at this point. I really want to express myself from the bottom up, building from the bottom up. And you can't do that with anything else.